Good morning, and welcome to Lighting Systems 20 at 10. I am Ricardo Barcelo, new to the specification teams. And today we have with us from Floss Western Business Development Manager, Richard Figueroa, to introduce our new, exciting, nature-inspired, scalable luminaire designed by Patricia Urquiola. Please enter any questions you have in the chat, and we will address them at the end of the presentation. Take it away, Richard. Thank you, Ricardo. Um, thank you for joining us this morning. I have something very special to share with you guys of this amazing product that we worked very closely with Patricia Urquiola. Just a little history on who Patricia is. She's a Spanish designer with her offices based in Milan, Italy. She worked closely with Piero, um, she worked under uh, Piero Giacomo and Achille Castiglioni, and also worked under Lasoni Studios with Piero Lasoni as well. And in 2002, she opened up her own studio, Studio Chiola. And so then we have been working with her closely under Floss since then by doing great designs such as the Chassin, the um, Serena, and then also the Caule. And now we have a beautiful scalable design, scalable luminaire design called Almendra. I'm going to go ahead and show you a video that's a very um, first time we've ever done this. This is actually an internal video that we do training, but I got permission for us to show it to you guys so you can see the beautiful and the intention of this design of it. So let me go ahead and start this and you'll see it now. <laughs> Almendra is a brand new product designed by Patricia Occhiola. She took her inspirations by the plants and the trees that she sees from her windows in her house on the seaside. It is a perfect match of geometry and shapes took directly from the world of plants. Almendra is based on the repetition of a module. This module is a kind of leaf or a circle doubled in two halves. Uh, this model is repeated many times and all the models are connected in different ways. In this sense, uh, Almendra is more a family of suspension than a single product. We have three linear versions. The linear versions are different by the size. The first one has only three heads, the second has four heads, and then there is a lo very long one with the six leaves. Then we have the so-called organic versions. The first ones are a couple of heads connected by a branch. You can have two different sizes of a branch, the short one and the long one. Then there is a very special Y-shaped branch. Two models or three models can be connected to this Y-shaped branch. In conclusion, we have a huge family of different models. We have three linear versions, three organic versions with two heads and one very special organic version with three heads. Almendra use the edge light system. So we have uh, a light guide that allow to have uh, homogeneous lumen output from both the surface and the LED are connected to the heat sink that is this and that is uh, in aluminum. Also the diffuser is paint inside with a digital solution that allowed to have a very good fading of the color from the center part to the side the same color that we have on the body and the ceiling rose has inside the power supply and the dimmer the dimmer have compatibility with uh, 010 dali push dim system of course also the traditional on and off the different head of uh, almedra can be connected one to each other thanks to electromechanical connection that we engineering. As you can see, this is an hexagonal solution that allowed to connect in linear way, or also the client can decide to, for example, put one head on the top and one in the bottom. So have two different directions of light. 
and connect it, but also every 60 degrees. So for example, one is a down light, another one side. After the connection of the different uh, head of a manager, the client uh, has to connect uh, the end cap. The end cap uh, must be connected in the same way, but also with a very small screwdriver and free, the client can fix it. As you can see now, each head of Almendra has uh, 610 lumen output. The quality of light is very high because uh, is 95 CRI and the dimmer works at 300 Hz. The temperature of the light is 2700 Kelvin. Patricia Orchiola is well known for her extraordinary ability to use color. That's why we invited her to give free reign to her creativity. Almendra comes in uh, six different colors. There are four solid colors and then two shining finishes. The first two basic colors are the off-white and the underside. They took place of the standard white and the standard black. Then we have two colors inspired by nature, the nude and the ochre. The nude is very close to the color of the skin or the almond, while the oak has the, the color, the same color of the sunset. Finally, the two metallic shades, the lilac and the bay blue. They are also inspired by nature. The lilac is a very trendy color. Almendra is not only related to the nature because of its shape. It's also a really sustainable product. It is made by a special kind of plastic that comes from the waste of the industrial production. In uh, a few words, from the making of paper comes out a special kind of oil and with this oil, thanks to a brand new technology, we can have a plastic that has exactly the same characteristics as polycarbonate. In this sense, Almendra is made of polycarbonate that is 100% made with sustainable resources and not from petroleum. As you can see, in Almendra, there are no visible screws. But at the same time, Almendra is not glued. It means that you can dismantle it at, at the end of uh, its span life. Each part is marked with a symbol so you can properly divide the different materials. Great. So thank you again for joining with us. To reiterate what my colleague was talking about with Adamendra, I'm going to show you a presentation just to go over some key factors on the collection itself. As you'll see here in this presentation, I'm just going to enter into full screen. My apologies. And with the product itself, you'll understand that it comes in three different types of applications, whether that's the Alamendra Arc, the Alamendra Linear, or the Alamendra Organic. Both the Arc and the Organic come in two different sizes of either a short or a long. And then the Linear comes in either three petals, four petals, or six petals. For the finishes themselves, you are going to have the four standard matte finishes, which is the off-white, the nude, the orchard, and the anthracite. And then what's going to be more kind of like, not necessarily glossy, but metallicized, which would be more of a metal finish, is the lilac and bay blue. Do note that the even though it says blue, it does come off more as a green, you would say, more of a turquoise green. I have here the manchettes, which is the finished samples. 
Um, lighting systems will have this as well. So if you do need to borrow these from them, you can request it too. But you'll see from here, this is what we call the bay blue. It's more of a greenish type of turquoise finish. To reiterate what they were saying, each of the pedals themselves have about 610 delivered lumens on the pedal to it. The color temperatures will always be 2700 K and it is a CRI 95. The dimming protocol for all the collection, all the applications are going to be either the push dimmer, which there is a actual button inside the canopy for it to push there or dolly or zero to 10. Also, another thing to note with how you direct the pedals themselves, all this is done pre-installation. You don't do it after the install. It's not necessarily, let's say, a particular fixture where you start rotating the heads after it's been installed. It's when it does get installed, you al allow for the electrical contractor or the installer to basically put that pedal in any of the direction around that hexagon screw. So you can have it where it could be direct or indirect, but keep in mind, it is a hexagon screw and you can have it go around in any of those sizes. One thing you do wanna know is that you wanna be careful because there are some limitations of how much you can rotate the head per linear part. Meaning that you can have one side be all turned and the other side be just plain because it will be off balance. For the organic, you do have two different versions, whether that's a two pedal or a three pedal. The third pedal will be on the Y shape, so it will be on the end of the longer branch, you would say, that's onto it. And then a couple of key facts that are on there, there is no glue for the assembly of Alamendra. It, we are trying to comply with all the sustainability on that. So you'll see a lot of strive that Floss has been doing with their products where we're focused on sustainability and making sure that we can take the products and um, recycle them in the proper way that, they're, that they can be um, recycled. It can be dismantled individually where you can have that recycled in each part. And the pedals are made from a particular type of um, polycarbonate deriving by product from paper. So like he was explaining that particular oil is a type of production which allows for this type of forms to come on these fixtures. The other thing I wanted to show you too is how this particular product was presented back in uh, Milan during Salone of, 2000, of 2022 in June. Well, we had a special place called Flossorovia, Flossorovia 15, and we're gonna be sending you the link in our chat right now. And in here, you can actually take a tour of the space itself. And so you'll see here, it's just gonna populate really quick. But in here, this is the actual booth. And so you can get a little bit of an up close feel of what this fixture looks like and also the canopy because we get a lot of questions of how this canopy looks. So you'll see that it's a rectangular canopy with aircraft cables on each side with the electrical cord to the left with an additional aircraft cable on the side or the organic. And then these are the linears that are here that you could see to the far right that's there. Also with that rectangular canopy as well. The canopy itself is a primer canopy, so it always will have that type of white finish, but you can paint on top of it necessary to go with whatever ceiling finish that it is. And so you'll see from here that you have the Alamendra Arc, and then also another version of the organic. And then just to get a little bit of a closer look of the pedals themselves and reiterate what my colleague Paolo was saying. So you have these particular uh, pedals that not only do you have the finish on top, but you also have it on the diffuser itself. And the idea of that, so when the piece is off, it will look like a complete piece itself. One of the questions that I get asked a lot is that, does that kind of like ruin, let's say, the delivered lumens or the lumen output of the light picture? And that, 
It does it by a very small percentage, and we're going to be stating that in the spec sheet when we have it fully launched, which will be available in stock in the U.S. in October. And then from here, you can see how on the installation of this particular one, where not only they had it direct, where they're also using that indirect. So again, to reiterate, Paolo, that hexagon screw, you can shift and change and move around before installation. And you can have it where it can be indirect or direct, or even um, basically shine off a wall, you could say, or wash off a wall. And then one more thing to share with you that you can find this is that we just launched our new flaw stories that you could see here. And in the flaw stories is the way that we go to market itself. And so this is the catalog, as you can see here, that it shows all the products that we have. And so every six months we'll be showing this and it will not only show the products, but also tell the story from the designer on the products themselves. And so you can request from Lighting Systems for you to get a copy, but we also will be providing you with a digital version of this as well. And we also, I think that's that's it. Are there any questions that anyone has? Will Floss be at Light and Build? That is a no. No, we will not be at Light and Build on this year. Can you make the Almendra in custom configurations? Um, you Right now, it's just standard for what it is, meaning that you have the three different types of applications of the linears being the three pedal, four pedal, six pedal, and then the arc, meaning that you have the short and the long with the two pedals, and then the organic where you have the short and the long, either with two pedals or three pedals. And those are the standard um, ones for now. We are looking into getting a lot of different requests right now because of this launch. We just launched it in June. Um, but I have not yet to see any type of custom capabilities of it as of yet. Can it be used in a sheltered exterior? For me, I I'm from Miami, so I would probably say a hard no. And the reason why I say that is because what I would assume it is a sheltered exterior would be a lot different. So if I have to say if it can be, I would say that would be a no because of the IP rating that's onto it. I don't know what the IP yet is, but I would assume it would be more of an IP44. Are custom finishes available? That's a very good question. We're actually working on a very large project um, right now that I'm working closely with my colleague to find out how that's going. Because I can tell you that, yeah, we could do a custom URL on the shell itself. But then when we get to the diffuser, I want to see how that works. I, I don't know how that's going to be handled, you would say. So um, I would say for now, it's just the standard finishes that we have, which are the four off-white, anthracite, nude, orchard, and then the metallicides of the bay blue slash green and the lilac. So right now, we keep it that. Um, let me just see if there's a... You say 27, but is there any opportunity to get it in other CCTs? I would say yes. And the reason why I'm saying this is because in the past few years, because back in the day, I would say in 2012, Floss was very, very much rigid on decorative is only coming in 2700. But in the last couple of years with such products as coordinates, um, wireline, I have seen that we're able to change the color uh, temperature very quickly on projects. Not necessarily on just one fixture, but on large projects. So I want to say for myself that is a yes, but we'll, we will get back to you to confirm that. And any other questions you guys may have? I think that's pretty much it. You'll see a link in the chat as well for the Floss Stories um, that they have put um, my team members at, Flo at Lighting Systems. So. Please do uh, download it from there. And if you have any other questions after this, let us know. And we'll, we will send a link uh, for the Flossorovia. So you can definitely take your virtual tour of all the new products that we hope will be launched by the end of this year or beginning of next year. Thank you, Richard. Uh, and thanks for all the scalable luminaire options for both residential and commercial applications. And thank you all for attending today. Next month, we'll be presenting Best, Vestalux from Lumiscape. And if you want to meet with Richard, like he said, 
please reach out to your lighting systems representative. And thank you all and have a great day. Have a good morning.